Good morning students. Today we are going to start lesson 1. That is a computer system. What is a computer? Computer is a very useful machine. It is used in every sphere of life. We can play games, write letters, draw pictures, listen to music, store information, solve mathematical problems etc. In the previous class we have learned the use of computer in different fields. Let us review some of these areas. Industry, Agriculture, Space Travel, Transport, Health, Research, Office Work, Education, Personal Life, Hospitals, Airport, Banks, Designing, Animated Movies. These area are that areas in which we can see the computers working. A computer can work very fast and can do many jobs at the same time. What is a computer system? Computer is made up of different parts that work together to form a computer system. Basic parts of a computer are printer, monitor, CPU, keyboard, mouse and speakers. The computers can be categorized into two parts or we can say the computer is, ha is having two parts that is hardware and software. Hardware, the physical parts of a computer that we can touch and feel are called hardware whereas the parts of the computer that we, which, that we cannot touch but we can see is known as software. Main parts of computer. A computer has four main parts that help in performing IPO that is input process output. First, monitor. Second, CPU. Third, keyboard. Fourth, mouse. Keyboard is an input device. Mouse is an mouse is a pointing device. CPU is a processing device whereas monitor is an output device. Monitor. A monitor looks like a TV screen. It displays the work that we do on a computer. It also displays the movement of the mouse pointer on the screen. There are four types of monitor first crt second lcd third led and the fourth one is touch screen first one crt that is cathode ray tube monitor crt monitors contain a vacuum tube and are bigger in size and consume more power second lcd that is liquid crystal display monitor these type of monitors has a flat type of screen. It consumes less power. Third, LED, light emitting diode monitor. These monitors have better display. These are thinner and lighter in weight. LED monitors use 40% less power than LCDs and last longer. These are the most commonly used monitors today. Second is central processing unit. As we know, it is the brain of computer that processes all the instructions given to the computer. A CPU is made up of three main parts that are MU, CU and ALU. MU, memory unit. In this unit, we can store data and instructions which are to be processed and are then passed on to ALU or CU. Second, CU, control unit. The control unit works like a traffic police map. It controls and manages all working of all the parts of a computer. ALU, arithmetic and logical unit 
performs all arithmetic calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, what is the brain of computer? CPU. Other hardware devices. Touch screen. A touch screen is a computer screen that is very sensitive to the touch. We can select the objects directly by touching with fingers without using any pointing device. For example, tablets, laptops, ATMs, cell phones. Second is scanner. It is a device that reads the text or pictures printed on a paper and translate the information into a form that only a computer understands. There are mainly three types of scanner, flatbed scanner, sheet fed scanner and handheld scanner. Next is printer. A printer prints the output we see on the computer screen on a paper. The output printed on the paper is called hard copy. Next one is plotter. A plotter is a kind of printer for computers. It is used to print on very large size papers. They are generally used for flex printing. They can draw complex line art including text but do so very slowly because of the mechanical movement of the pens. And now the next one is speaker. Speaker art. Speakers are used to listen to music and sounds stored in a computer. The next hardware device, light pen. It looks just like a pen that can be used on a special pad. Whatever you write on its pad is visible on the monitor. Another one, joystick. It is used for playing games, help to move the items on the screen. Now pen drive, it is also very small in size but can store and transfer data from one computer to another. It is very easy to handle and carry. Now hard disk, a hard disk is a device that can store large amounts of information. It is present inside the CPU box. CD, CD full form is compact disk. It is a round, flat and shiny disk. Now, as I have told that computer is made up of two parts, that is hardware and software. Hardware I have already explained. Now the turn is of software. What is software? Software is that part of a computer which cannot be touched. To make the hardware work, we need to have software installed in it. We can understand software with the help of one example. Children, you all love to play games, but to run a game, you need a computer, CD or DVD, speakers or headphones. These parts which you can touch and feel are hardware, but the game that you play by inserting a CD or DVD in a CD or DVD drive is a software which can't be touched. Okay? Likewise, a TV is a hardware and programs that you watch is software. Thus, we can divide, define software as a set of instructions given to the computer to do a particular task. There are two types of software. First is system, system software and the second one is application software. System software manages all the input and output operations, whereas application software helps us to do specific type of work and some example of application software are MS Paint. Now what is IPO cycle? IPO means input process output cycle. What is input? Whatever we give the computer in the form of data and instructions are input. We can enter numbers, words, pictures, sound as input. Now what is processing? After entering data and instruction in the computer, the CPU works on the input and perform the task. This is known as processing. Output after processing the data and information, whatever CPU gives the result and displays it on the monitor is called output.
सो आई पी यू इनपुट प्रोसेस एंड आउटपुट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इनपुट प्रोसेस एंड आउटपुट साइकिल विद द हेल्प ऑफ टू एग्जाम्पल्स जस्ट सपोज यू हैव योर मदर हैज टोल्ड यू टू प्रिपेयर अ कप ऑफ टी वॉट यू हैव टू टेक वॉटर टी लीव मिल्क एंड शुगर सो वॉट दीज इनग्रेडियंट्स आर इनपुट वॉट यू हैव टू डू द नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू बॉयल वॉटर टी लीव मिल्क एंड शुगर दिस इज नोन एज प्रोसेसिंग एंड वॉट विल कम आफ्टर बॉयलिंग दीज इनग्रेडियंट्स अ कप ऑफ टी सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल just uh, suppose you have to make a call to your friend what you will do first you will do dial the number this will be input and what the processing will be there it will connect to the number with the help of tar and what will be the output you will start talking with your friend so i hope now you are able to understand input process cycle ipo input process output we give input after processing on it computer gives out the output right and last is activity session find words from the word grid with the help of given hints first a device used to type numbers letters or words are second information we get after processing are third the unit that stores the information fourth part of a computer that processes all the instructions and the fifth one information we see on the monitor are now class just saw this activity session and go through whatever is taught in this video learn everything whatever has been explained thank you